Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you plugins. That's one of the new features of the new Yordino software. After a lot of work, a lot of rewriting of the whole system, this is now ready for you to be used. So plugins uh, will extend the uh, functionality of your Dino so that you can add support for more channels, more logging, more um, yeah, you 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 name it. You can get data from a uh, lot of a lot of different sources. Now, let me show you how it works. So here you go to plugins and manage plugins, and there's a little bit of explanation here. But you need to download a plugin from yourdino.com. So if you click here. You will go to uh, the plugin section, and here I have uploaded three different plugins. I'll show you how them how they work: uh, break and gear ratio logging. There is some uh, more hardware uh, channel support here, and some speed and distance logging. So let's start with with this one. Uh, no, let's start with this one. That's uh, a good introduction. So uh, just some details here. We go and download. Can just do the uh, the distance uh, speed and distance dot dll. That's the plugin itself. If you want, you can also download the source code. The point with with plugins, of course, is that everybody around the world should be making plugins and should share them uh, at uh, your Dino uh, on the website on your Dino. And we can vote, which is good and which is uh, not so good. We can comment on them. You see here in the support, you can leave your comment if you have any problems with it. The point is that this, as, as this as time goes by, there should be a, a big library of plugins here. That's what I hope. So I need your help to do that. But let me show you how to install a down, uh, a download and install a plugin. So it's a sm very small little thing. Uh, you say yes, we want to. Um, to save it, we go back to your Dino and we install it. And it's going to be in the download directory. Here it is, speed and distance. So you just select this one. And now you can see it here. So uh, it says it uh, provides blah, 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 blah. Okay. What happened? Well, if you press uh, the V button, uh, you get all the things you can, uh, the graphs you can plot. And as you will see here now, you have one that's called speed and one that is called distance. So when you, um, so uh, of course you don't see it here because I haven't loaded anything or haven't done any runs. But when you do a run, you will now get the, the be able to see speed and distance here. Another thing which you can do, as you can see here, there is a new tab uh, which is called results versus and here you can now say I want to have results versus speed so now you will get uh, results versus speed here you have time rpm and speed and maybe also cool you can say results versus distance if you want to see how far you do uh, how fast you do uh, uh, you know a quarter mile for example you can uh, check that out. You go and you can see time. Uh, we can look at it later. That's pretty cool. Uh, of course, if you go to run and new run, you will also see now a new speed and distance uh, meters here. Right, come here. And of course, you can you can set digital uh, and all that stuff, same as before. Okay, so that's one plugin. Let's try another one. Uh, we can do. Um, can go just back to this one. Let's go back to all plugins, and we can do this one. Uh, the break and gear ratio login. Same thing. We just go and download. We can just do the DLL. Yes, I want to keep it. Okay, and we do an install. Uh, break and gear ratio. Okay, and it pops up here. Um, yes, now what you will see is that you have had a bunch of new things here. One is that the gear ratio, this is useful if you have, let's say, uh, uh, you wonder if you have slip. Uh, so you can, you see in here, RPM setup, here you can set up that uh, um, there, is a, there is a regular, uh, you can say engine RPM here, if you do. If you have some way of monitoring engine RPM, um, then you can uh, see that there is slip if you have a, a, a gear ratio that changes, right? That's something you can 
you can use this function for but as you will also see you can now log the break so if you have let's say uh, you are you are modifying the, the the PID parameters and you're wondering if it's correct or you can see if, if it's uh, unstable you can watch these uh, f figures here you have the KEI, KD, KP parameters see which one is oscillating if, if you have an oscillation you can see how far away uh, your RPM is from your set point or from your your RPM graph you can see some uh, and then finally the, the break RPM the break input yeah. and also the raw PID which is uh, going beyond the 0 to 100 these numbers here are 0 to 100 and they are sort of truncated the, the raw PID is truncated if it comes over uh, 0 to 100 percent pretty useful by the way there was one thing I didn't check uh, show you here in the plugins you will now get a new menu for each of the plugins that you install so speed and distance it doesn't really need much of an input but uh, it needs to know how, how far uh, the, the the car will go for each brake revolution you can set that here okay now uh, the final one I wanted to show you and that is that is this one here now this is a cool one here is a board that you can buy it costs more or less nothing uh, like uh, 20 30 dollars something like that and it gives you a bunch of uh, new channels if you go to there is a link here I think yeah here uh, that's the board and as you can see it has yeah, five analog channels some digital inputs um, there is some uh, some PWMs and, th and some things like that so also outputs it has outputs inputs outputs and some PVMs and I've made support for inputs analog inputs and digital outputs okay I'll show you how that works I will download it uh, was the wrong one here we go and by the way here note this one huh? you must install a driver for this board before attempting to uh, install the plugin so you can just download it here okay Yes, I want to keep it. Um, then we go back here and uh, we install it. Okay, so that is this one. Okay, see it pops up here. All right, what did we get? Well, we can look at this configuration. So here we can see the analog channels that you can program. So let's say analog channel zero is going to be just inventing something here uh, water uh, temp and that's gonna be uh, unit C and uh, 0 volt equals I don't know minus uh, 20 5 volt is maybe plus uh, 150 whatever you need to check your sensor of course uh, maybe channel 1 is uh, something completely different maybe you have boosts or something PSI and zero is uh, let's say minus 20 PSI this is plus 40 PSI whatever if you now uh, if you do that you will see that uh, here in the select graphs you have now a bunch of cha extra channels you will have water uh, boost that we just uh, this, uh, set up and all the other ones have just a default name so you can all of a sudden now you have a lot more channels to to plot and uh, you just connect it to this uh, small little board that is a USB board and they can be plotted together with the rest here let me show you one more thing so this is output channels so let's say uh, that you want uh, with the RPM is above uh, a thousand you want this channel one to turn on so that's just like this easy or maybe there is a uh, uh, maybe the water temperature is above say I don't know 90 turn on something that is pretty cool isn't it